everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer and today we are playing with the Tom Ford Cognac Rose eyeshadow quad. And this was part of the anniversary sale, the Nourish Germain anniversary sale that just ended. I am recording this before it actually ends. So I, <laughs> I don't know if this quad will still be available. It was part of a set, um, Casablanca and Fascinator, I believe are the shades that came with it. I don't know. We're about to find out when this video goes up, we'll know whether it's still available. I don't think it's sold out. If it's sold out, then it's gone. But if it was still available, I think it'll still be available after the sale, but I'm not sure about that. So, you know, we'll, we'll see. I, I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that it is in case there are people that still want it. If not, I apologize for not getting it up during the sale, but there was just too many things going on. So in comparison to that, I have Honeymoon, which looks like this. And if you look at the two together, they do look similar. There are definitely similarities there. And then the other one is Mercurial. Now Mercurial is part of the Tom Ford um, Extreme, I guess. Yeah, Extreme. And I think it looks very similar to honeymoon. I thought so when I bought it. This is it next to Cognac Rose. So let's watch them all so you guys can see them and then we'll do a look with the Cognac Rose today. On my face I have the new Dior blush in 462. I believe this is Coral Flight or something like that. Um, all the information will be in the description box because I can't remember right now. <laughs> And it's a really pretty blush. It is very bright for me. I went in very lightly with it, but anyone who is more, anyone who has a deeper skin tone, I think is gonna really enjoy this blush. It's a beautiful shade. It blends really nicely. It has more of a satin look to it. I wouldn't say it's luminescent, but I also wouldn't say it's flat. I just think it's really pretty. Um, I also have on the Gucci bronzer in 01. Let's go ahead and dig in and swatch. So let's start with the uh, Mercurial. This, as I said, was part of the Extreme collection. I really like this quad. I think it's beautiful. Um, I would say though that I'm not a huge fan of the reddish shade that's in here. Uh, I think we had a lot of red in Chanel, frankly, and I sort of got redded out. It's not that it's not a pretty color because it is a pretty color. I just that, you know, I just, there was so much of it that I was just kind of like, okay, no more red, which is why I was so excited to see metallic denim from Tom Ford. And I will be using that one very soon. Okay. So that is Mercurial. Like I said, beautiful, beautiful quad. I'll link a video that I did of it. Okay. Then let's do honeymoon. All right. Beautiful formulas on all of these. Honeymoon is actually one of my favorites. It's really pretty, really beautiful. Um, Quint, this formula is my favorite. It's incredibly creamy. You can do wet dry, really nice. Okay, so that's Honeymoon. You can see the similarities. Um, Mercurial, I believe if you basically took these two shades from Honeymoon and added like, I think it's new dip, you basically get Mercurial. But anyway, they're very similar. All right, now let's try Cognac Rose. Make sure I've got the right angle. They feel really nice. They look a little cooler. Ran out of arm space here, but no, that's nice. Okay, so we've got Mercurial, Honeymoon, and now Cognac Rose. I think these shades are, um, I think they're different actually. I mean, it's a similar color story, but this is browner. Like even though in the shade in here that's like reddish, it's a browner red. It, it has more of like a, Oh, almost coppery, not as much red. This shade is definitely like a cooler brown. And this is a definite, like this is gold, which is interesting. 
and that has more of a peach. No, oh, this is going to be interesting to use. So hopefully if you were interested in picking this up, you've already done so, or it's still available one or the other. Um, you know, I, I'd be surprised if it wasn't still available, uh, after the sale, if they have stock, I mean, I would think they would, who knows? Uh, let's take the reddish brown shade. I mean, I, that's what I would do. I would keep selling it if people were interested in it, but it is a set. Like it is a Nordstrom anniversary set. So I don't know, but we'll see. Very pigmented, very pigmented. Um, yeah, that's, it's a really pretty, this is like I said, the red shade, but it's not red. It's more, it's going almost like a plummy shade on me. Yeah, it actually, it has more of like, um, what would we call that? Magenta? It's like definitely cool toned. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I like it. Definitely less red. Interesting. I really like that. That's pretty. Yeah, the reds, um, you know, Chanel had a lot of reds for a while there. Uh, their creative director really liked that color story and I mean, they were, they were pretty. It's not like they weren't done well. It's just, it, that's not really my color story. And um, like we had so much of it there for a while. It was just like, that was the shade. That was what everyone was doing. And I don't know, it just got to be too much for me, but maybe you don't feel the same, which is okay. Um, but yeah, I felt like there was like, that cranberry shade in everything for a while. And uh, with red hair, I don't know. It just doesn't, doesn't really work. I'm uh, just kind of going over this and, and uh, buffing it up and out. I'll fix the outside of my eye later. I'm not somebody who uses eye tape. I like to play around with it and then I can clean up the sides. Um, I've mentioned this in some videos, you know, you can use eye tape or you could just do your eyes first. Um, I don't do either. I just kind of play around with it and then I clean up where I need to. Yeah, that's a really pretty shade. I've just basically put that almost all over my eye and I'll blend it out. I just think it's, it, that's really nice. It's almost got like a purple. I'm just buffing out the top of it to thin that out up into the brow, but bring a little bit of the color, you know, just a tiny bit. Cause I want to, uh, keep some of that like purple redness, but I'm going to go over it with a, one of the light shades. That's really nice. Okay. Blending, more blending, more blending. Okay. Now let's take, I'm going to take my Chanel eyeshadow brush. I've been using this brush a lot lately. I'm not exactly sure why, but this is a domed eyeshadow brush. It's a very uh, dense brush that can help me target shade. I'm going to use that cooler brown shade and I'm going to use this through the crease. Uh, I'd love to hear from all of you whether you picked this up during the sale. I know it was popular, but I don't know how many people passed on it because, you know, it was a similar color story, which I get. The metallic denim, which I have not done yet, which I will do a video on, um, is available in other places like Sephora and stuff. So I figured I'd had more time to get that one done. <laughs> so it's coming. I have so many new things that I need to get, th to get through. Um, Tom Ford's, Suku, Chanel, um, Dior's, E. St. Laurent, uh, Sydney Grace, so many new, so many new things. I've got some sneak peeks that I've been showing you. I showed you the naked pink from Tom Ford. I've got other sneak peeks that I'll start showing you, but um, holiday is right around the corner, guys. I know it sounds insane in August, but that's where we are. 
So I wouldn't be at all surprised if we started seeing holiday releases in September. Do I think that's too early? Yes, but you know, <laughs> it's just what it is, I guess. I mean, it's like Fast and Furious. So, Chantecaille is new. There's just a bunch of newness. So, oh, you know, most of these things, I, I always like to say, you don't ever feel like you have to go like run and pick them up. I, I have a channel, so, you know, I, I'm showing it all to you guys, but most of these things are part of collections. Most of them don't disappear overnight. The caveat to that is Dior for limited edition things. Sometimes they do just disappear, which is weird. Like they're just gone. Uh, Suku is impossible to pick up unless you pre-order from Selfridges, in my opinion. Like it's just, the launches are, you can't, they just go super fast. Um, I'm trying to think there's maybe a few others, but for the most part, these things come back or they're in stock and yes, they'll sell out, but they'll, they'll have more stock. So I not to rush with things with products because I try to take my time with them. So, you know, I have a good actual review for you so I can tell you if it holds up and everything. But at the same time, I want to get things out early enough so that if they do disappear, you can get them. It's, it's hard to gauge. So hopefully this one's still available when this goes up. All right, so let's take the gold shade here and put that on the eye and then I'll use the lighter shade for um, inner corner and uh, brow. I'm using my finger because I just feel like that gives me the most payoff. You can certainly use a brush and I do often. So, you know, feel, please don't feel like you can't do that. Um, but I do feel like with like these types of creamy ones, especially if you use your finger, you're going to get the most payoff. Yeah, that's a beautiful gold, actually. That's really nice. Um, the wet dry, it allows you to put this on wet. You'll get a more intense look. Um, I rarely do a wet look. It's not that I, uh, I just, I don't, I just don't do it. Um, I can, if you want to see this and what it would look like wet, I can certainly do that for you. But I can tell you, this is pretty intense. This is pretty pigmented without it. So you can get the idea. It's just going to be more intense. Maybe when I do the metallic denim, I'll do one wet and one dry. If that's something you're interested in seeing, let me know. Cause I'd be happy to do that. I, I just, I generally don't wear uh, formulations wet. I feel like I like the powdery nature. I feel like I like that look better. It's softer. Um, I don't necessarily want a super intense color. Um, that's just me, but it's good to know that you can do it if you want to. But yeah, this is very, very pretty and it's definitely different than the honeymoon and mercurial. I think because the shade in here, that reddish shade is really not red. It's like I said, it's, it's got a cool tone, almost cool tone, purpley brown. I'm going back with that shade actually, and just intensifying the outer corner with it. And then that gold shade takes up, you know, it really makes it, uh, gold cause it, it's a pretty intense shade. Um, if you want to make it warmer, I would stick with that one and use the brown. It's a cooler brown, but the gold will warm it up. And then, you know, do less of this purpley, purpley red uh, brown shade. I'm not exactly sure what shade that is, but it's nice. Um, and you could keep it, you know, pretty warm. Yeah, this is a nice, that's a nice color story. It's very pretty on the eye. So although I, I do think it's similar to other color stories, I like it. All right, let's take the cool brown shade, use that as a lower lash line. Yeah, that's nice. It's a nice, cool brown with some shimmer to it. Very pretty. We'll use that on the upper lash line as well. Yeah, that's really nice. Okay, let me bring you in close so you can see it. There is Cognac Rose. I think you can see it's a pigmented quint. It's very pretty, but it's not 
it's it's I think it's definitely different than Mercurial and Honeymoon. Um, I do have videos of those, so I'll post them. I'll have them linked throughout. Maybe earlier in the video, I'll have them linked or whatever, so you can check those out. You also saw the swatches on my arm. They are different, similar color stories, but but different enough, I think, that they create a different look on the eye. And you could also take one of the light, the the lightest look, the, the lightest shade, this like whitish shade, like and use just the cool brown and use that whitish shade on the eye. That would be stunning. I, I do think this has. I think there's a lot you could do with this. Okay, let me uh, curl my lashes, put on mascara. We'll be right back. All right, we're back with mascara on. I really love this look. I think it's really pretty. Quad, are the shades revolutionary? Are they brand new? Have you seen them before? No, they're not revolutionary. Yes, you've seen them before. I don't think they've, I don't think I've seen them together like this before. Um, the closest that I have is Mercurial and Honeymoon. And as I said, they are much redder in tone. This has more of that gold um, and warmer look for me. Even the brown that is definitely a cooler brown, uh, as long as you mix it with the gold, you get this warmer look. I think it's really pretty. I think it's a really nice, very pigmented look. Um, I have to say, I think Tom, this is like the Tom Ford that I, that I like, that I enjoy. Again, I don't think the colors are new, but the combination is new and I do like it. And this is something that I would absolutely wear. So that is a plus. Again, this is my um, favorite formula from Tom Ford. I really do like it. I think uh, it performs really well. It's very creamy. It blends well. You can use it wet or dry. It's a really pretty look. Um, yeah, this is something I, I like. So now for lips, uh, the two shades were Casablanca and Fascinator. Casablanca I've used a ton of times. And so I think I'm going to use Fascinator. I think it's going to be a little too light and a little too pink, but I can warm it up with the Tom Ford liner in, um, the name is escaping me, Extort. So here is Casablanca. There is Fascinator. And like I said, I think it's going to be a little too cool, but let's put it on the lips. I'll show you how it looks and then we can go over it with the Tom Ford liner. Yes, definitely too pink, <laughs> in my opinion, for this look and for me in general. It's just, it's, I'm not like, I don't generally wear pink. Um, I mean, I wear pinkish, but just this is, goes very pink on me. Things go cool on me. Like I bet you this, the fascinator would go warmer on somebody else, uh, especially if it, you had a, like a warmer undertone in your lips. But for me, things go cool. So let's use the extort. The extort is a, um, it's a brown shade show you next to Fascinator. You can see how much browner it is. So let's try that with the lip, see if that kind of balances it out. I definitely like it a lot better <laughs> with the extort. I'm one of those people who likes to do the liner on first and then the lip, but I think this works. I definitely think that Fascinator is too pink of a shade for me. And it's definitely too pink of a shade for this look. I think the eye look is definitely warmer. I know that the brown in there goes a little bit cooler and so does the magenta E shade, but I think that gold really overtakes it. And I did use my finger when I put the gold on, so it's not a huge surprise. It makes it warmer. So I think the lip needs to be a warmer lip. Casablanca is not a warm shade either. Casablanca is also a cool shade. So I think it's interesting that they chose those shades, but I mean, you know, again, uh, things go different on different people. Maybe on someone else, it makes a really good match. So overall, my thoughts are, I really like the quad. I think it's very pretty. Um, it does resemble Honeymoon and Mercurial, but it's not exact. It is different enough, in my opinion. The lipsticks that came with it, Casablanca and Fascinator. Casablanca is one of my favorites. Fascinator is a little too pink for me, but with the extort, I think it looks nice. And uh, we're, you know, I'll find out when this video goes up if it's still available on the site. If it is, I'll make sure if it's linked. And if it's not, I'll put that down there as well. It is part of the anniversary sale. So um, I think it'll be interesting to see if it's still there. I don't think it's sold out though. So I would assume that they would keep, they would keep selling it. Fingers crossed. 
Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye.